All right, and we're back, ready for the main dish before your eyes. So in case anybody is tuning in right now, this is a game. This is also not a uh, exactly a game. This is most like a story and an experience if you want to. But this, if you're not prepared, if you haven't watched any streams, if you haven't heard anything about this game, this might be just the most emotional game that you've ever seen. For me, it definitely kind of was. I mean, I cannot think back to any other game that has come this close to make me crying. And a lot of people have cried, so I'm issuing a warning now. <laughs> if this is your first time experiencing this game, you might shed a tear or two. So be prepared for that. So uh, another thing before we get into this. This is a game that uses a blinking mechanism. Like, actually, the developers intended you to hook up a webcam. And every time you blink, the scene switches. Like, you move on to the future. You jump forwards every time you blink. It's kind of simulating how your life passes before your eyes, I guess. Every time you blink, like, you're transported to a different uh, part of your life. The way I'm going to play it is obviously without a webcam. I'm just going to click on an icon. And if you guys want to experience this game the way it was intended to, I'm going to do like a countdown. You're going to see there is a metronome appearing down here. So I'm going to do it like a 3, 2, 1, and then I'm going to push it. And if you want to experience the game the way it was intended to by the developers, you can blink at that very moment. Like 3, 2, 1, blink. All right, let's start a new game. Let's get into this. Now this is a game about blinking. See, every time you blink, the game will notice. See how this works? I'm supposed to be blinking, by the way, right now, but I'm pushing the uh, just the mouse button. Try blinking at this white dot symbol. Alright, so every time we get like a symbol, not these ones, there's gonna be two kinds of symbols. There's gonna be these eyes, and there's gonna be the metronomes appearing at the bottom of the screen. The eye symbols are not as important as the metronome, they like signify small jumps forward. Every time we see a metronome, I'm gonna do a countdown. Every time we see an eye, which is not that significant, I'm just gonna click on it and we're gonna progress. When you see a metronome and blink, so this is the one I was talking about. You can see it's counting down. So I'm gonna do like a three, two, one. And then I'm gonna blink. So you can guys blink with the game if you want to experience this the way it was intended. You will jump forward every time you blink. Three, two, one. Keep blinking. All right, let's keep blinking here. We're just jumping forward. And we are entering the sea of the souls. You can see all these light orbs are like deceased people that have uh, are entering the afterlife. And that is the ferryman who's gonna take us on to our last journey, I guess. That's mine. Well, hello there, stranger. Whew. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with, or hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you, if that makes any sense. So, if you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. And we do understand. You remember blinking, don't you? <laughs> that thing you did 30,000 times a day? Yes, man. Do not be condescending, I know how to blink. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, try to not blink too fast because these guys do have some funny bits of dialogue if I don't. 
Ooh, well, look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there? Lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch, or what's a better word? A notion? A mm, better word than that. Ah! A premonition. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Now, you see that tower out there? The big, scary one? That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. To be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life, from prow to stir. Now, if she's impressed, I get paid the big coin, and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't. I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you, well, <laughs> we don't have to worry about that, because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> no, shut up, you trash birds. You had your chances. It wasn't my fault you were no good. Layabouts. Unsatisfactory clock watchers. I got some words for you. Oh, you wanted the dog, guys. <laughs> you got one. Woof, woof, as Maruki says. <laughs> So sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I wanna see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So just think back to the very beginning, the first thing that you can remember. I'm gonna send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not gonna be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. Don't be afraid, and don't try to fight it. The thing to remember about blinking is, well, it's only a matter of time. As Maruki says, I don't know if I should laugh I'm or not. <laughs> touched you enjoy my company. I really am. But I'll have to ask you to have some respect for the process here. Definitely get your laughs in, Maruki, while you can, because there's going to be a lot less laughs there down the line. <laughs> Two of them, and they belong to this guy, right here. <laughs> no, really, man, I need you to blink. All right, all right, I'm gonna blink in three, two, one. And just try to enjoy it this time. Let me know if you guys enjoy that technique, me counting down and you having to blink. If it's annoying, I'm gonna stop doing it. But I think it kind of adds to the experience of everybody who wants to actually blink through this game. Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? You must really like it out here, huh? Well, I get that. I like it too. Remember, we're experiencing his life from uh, birth to death. So these are the early days of his life, I guess. And continuing in three, two, one.
Let's go get you some seashells. What do you say? You see that big spiky plant over there? That's called Nagave. Eleven years from now, that plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree covered in flowers. We'll have to keep our eyes on that one. Oh man, already we are getting messages about life and death. Alright. <laughs> Moving on in three, two, one. Day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. Did I put it in here? No. So as you can already tell, this woman is kind of a composer. She's looking for her piece and there is already a piano sheet here. So she is very well into music in a professional uh, sense as well. It's gonna play a big role down the road. So keep that in mind. Three, two, one. Hey, go ahead, kid. <laughs> Look at that. There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. It would really be something to see how he grows. As you can see, the zoom on this thing is fantastic. We are Benny, and we just became one year old. Lots more experience to come. It's on. So I fear this battery isn't even working. So let's keep going. Memory <laughs> oh man, that guy's confused that about mean? his camera. <laughs> oh, total old school dad. Happy about his new camera. No idea how to operate it whatsoever. <laughs> All right, moving on in three, two, one. Don't you? <laughs> Some Give it time. I'm sure you'll be better than me soon enough. Well, kind of a sad message by mommy there. She's enjoying the piano, but there is an underlying sadness. She's not doing that well, I guess. All right, let's try and play with her in three, two, one. Nice little boat for every child needs. <laughs> Sounds good, honey. I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? What do I like about it? I like the music. That's very specific. I also like the person playing it. Yolai in April flashback, says Maruki. By the way, I don't know who of you guys are, uh, if any of you are married or something, but that is like a, <laughs> that's like a common, very common sequence. Your wife asking you something, you don't know how to answer about it, and then comes the uh, interrogation. <laughs> oh man, the poor guy. All right, moving on further into Benny's life in three, two, one. thinking about ships always ships i don't know probably solving the problems of the universe so do you think he's going to be smart i don't see why not i mean we're both pretty smart <laughs> yeah but that doesn't mean he's going to be necessarily you're right. No. You're right. <sighs> well, he's going to be something, but I guess. Uh, you know, it doesn't really matter, I guess, whether he's smart or not. Exactly. As long as he's happy. 
And that is gonna come into question, happiness. Of course. But I still think he's going to be smart. I can just tell. Oh man, this is already getting very sad for me because I know how the game progresses. Like, there you have parents thinking about whether the child is gonna become... Sometimes dumb people are really happy. ...smart or not. Happy or not. Oblivious to the fact what is going to happen in Benny's life, I guess. So let's move on so you can see it in three, two, one. No, it's not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. No, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Thank you for considering my piece, John. It really means a lot. All right. Oh, that's sure a little mess of color. Hey, I'm young. Nah, I'm not gonna throw it, come on. <laughs> you know, if you keep working at it, one day you'll be able to paint exactly what's in your head. You'll be a real artist. Your poor mom. Oh man, mom is definitely very sad. She's trying to make it uh, in the music career, I guess, but she is kind of striking out right now. So she is having hopes for Benny to maybe pick up the slack. Maybe Benny becomes an artist and fulfills her own dreams. Alright, let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Scrapbook. Interesting. What is in it? Moments of the family. Baby grand piano. Nice. The first piano for Benny. See? That used to be my piano. Ooh. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. So I guess music runs in the family. God. He made me practice so much. I hated it at first. Okay, that's gonna be a deja vu moment. She, her father made her practice a lot. She is gonna probably make us practice as well. Beechcroft High School Choir. Nice. So the, it is all about music in her life, as you can see. I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything, though. He was what you might call the strong, silent type. Are musical guys introverts, usually? I don't know. I definitely not tend to think them as introverts, but in the case of a conductor or a choir, probably. Can you believe I grew up in the snow? And I came all the way out here to the beach. I don't even know how I got here. Your dad got his job and I just... Came with him. All right. A human suitcase. So that's enough about mom's life. In three, two, one. Okay, Benny. Are you ready to see something really special? Oh, what's in the box? Want him to get attached. What's in the box? Richard. What? It's a kitty. It's I've ever seen. Yeah, what's wrong with that? We can't keep him, can we? I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No, we'll find someone to take him. But while he's here, I say we call him Ernie. <laughs> Little Ernie, fits him, doesn't it? Oh, he's so cute. He's so sweet. Only has one eye though. Richard. What? His cat. <laughs> Yeah, I just mean, for now, of course we're not going to keep him. Right, I believe that. I know where this is going. For now, honey. Of course, for now. <laughs> That's how it always starts. Another thing I'll just say quickly, you build up a resistance to allergies over time. So what you're allergic to now, like that's why an allergy shot to give you what you're allergic to. So he's like a human allergy shot full of love with one eye. Just considering. I just know a month from now, he's going to be sleeping on my pillow and I'm not going to be all right, ma'am with the allergies. You'll be breathing as you'll develop a tolerance. 
But we're keeping the cat, damn it. All right, he can sleep on my pillow, fair? Oh, and Maruki says, I can see where this is going. No, no. <laughs> oh, Maruki, you haven't seen the half of it. Like these cute moments, mildly sad moments as well, is nothing compared to what's about to come, especially towards the end. All right? Let's keep moving forward in three, two, one. Oh, she sneezes. She definitely doesn't like cats. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? All right, music time. There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C minor? You remember how to play that one? Oh man, such a young child already knowing how to play major and minor chords, jeez. That is a prodigy. Very good. Just one note different. But that one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <laughs> Which is actually very true and interesting if you've uh, ever played a musical organ. And your little friend on your piano there. Like a, a major chord, which is actually happy sounding compared to a minor chord, which is the sad one, the sad iteration of the same chord, they only differ by one semitone. It is amazing like how close happiness and sadness are in the uh, musical scale of things. Ah, but anyway, I digress. Let's keep going in three, two, one. Chords Guide, Richard Bryan. Oh, this is the, so this is an album of the mother, the mother's album still. Richard Bryan's is, uh, is our father, and uh, the mother was his student at some point. That's how they met. They met at school, I guess. Richard Bryn, I'm cheaper than hiring movers, trust me. <laughs> what a pickup line. See, that's how you pick up uh, women, I guess. <laughs> Help them move their stuff and hope for the best. No, that's a terrible thing. But okay, it worked in uh, Richard's case, I guess. So. <laughs> it's all good. She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. As Kenzie says, play the piano. I cannot play the piano too much right now, but trust me, there is a lot more of piano playing coming up, so you will not be disappointed. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes which I very quickly lost. Nice. <laughs> oh man, the advantages of men do not last very long, am I right? Egypt Airlines, all right. So now they are kind of becoming a couple and they are traveling places. God, she dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Where would you want to go if you could only go to one? Oh, that is an easy answer for me. <laughs> Egypt or Greece. Just in case you guys do not know or somebody's new, I am from Greece. So naturally, Greece we go, baby. Well, just remember to put on sunscreen. <laughs> Man, I gave you some unfortunate genes, didn't I? Luckily, mom gave you some good ones, so... Let's hope they balance each other out. As Kenzie says, if you could play the piano, play never gonna give you a Barry Castley. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid, Kenzie, we will not be able to choose the notes like the songs are gonna be playing automatically. We're just gonna try to uh, keep up in a sort of a minigame. It's gonna be a lot of classical music, though, if you're into that. <laughs> Alright, moving on in three, two, one. <laughs> 